All right, let me call the meeting to, to, uh, to order. Are, we are ready. Okay, great. Uh, I apologize for us getting a late start, um, uh, but we will call the meeting to order. And um, uh, Kelly, you're going to lead us in prayer, and then Charlie Long's going to, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'd like for everyone to please stand. If you'll join me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you've given us, Lord. We thank you for Greenbrier County and the citizens here, Lord. We ask that you will watch over us this evening as we conduct the county business. We also lift up all the students that have headed back to school this week, Lord, and I just ask that you'll be with them and their teachers to help provide them with the education that they need. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Kelly, and thank you, uh, Charlie. First item of business is to approve the minutes of the August 14th, uh, 2018 regular meeting. I move we approve the minutes for the August 14th meeting as presented by our clerk. Okay, it's been moved. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Settlements of estates from Joni Hare. On behalf yeah. of Joni Hare, the fiduciary supervisor, I have five names to present. Alice Elizabeth Hickman, Janet Claire Bosserman Jamerson, Mildred Pearl King, Lewis Loudermilk, and Elizabeth Sue Miller. And those are all in order. Motion. I'll move that we approve the final settlements as presented. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Exonerations, county splits, and consolidations. Uh, I have a uh, a group of those presented to us for, by the assessor, Joe Darnell. I would move that we approve those as presented. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Financial approvals. Ms. Robin Lattermill. Following arch and rec transfer from savings to checking, Alderson Main Street, $450. That's for 1819 programming. Town of Raynell, $2,500 for eighteen nineteen beautification project. Sportsplex, $4,570. That's for eighteen nineteen 19 survey work, grading plan, construction, staking for a total of $7,520 from savings to checking. I move we take $7,520 from savings and transfer it to checking to pay these arts and rec fees. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. We have three budget revisions. The first one is to increase circuit clerks 403-219 in the amount of $473.13. That's a refund from the Xerox company. The second budget revision is to increase law enforcement other fringe benefits by $907. That's a reimbursement from former member Evan Schaefer. Third one is to increase 711567, and that was uh, reimbursement from FEMA, check from with the state warrant. And it was for $1,250. Okay, motion regarding budget revisions. I move, I move we approve the budget revisions as presented by our clerk. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 
Uh, uh, Aye, motion carries. Line we, item transfers. We have no line item transfers. Okay. Uh, we've reviewed the bills, and I would move that we approve the bills as presented here. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, uh, aye. Motion carries. Public comments for agenda items? None. None. Okay. News, new business. Consider signing the West Virginia Community Corrections Grant contract and resolution for $240,000. That should be in your packet. That is our standard grant that we receive from the Community Corrections Board to run the day report center. That's the one that will go towards salaries and other programming that they have. And it requires the president or the entire commission's? Uh, um, it, it requires the president's signature on multiple pages and it also requires the county clerk on the resolution. Okay. Is there a motion? I'd move that we uh, give the president permission to sign that grant application. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Motion carries. Robin gets the pink tab. Yeah. Tried to keep hers a little separate. That's, that's Connie Sextus, didn't it? No, it was just the one that was next on the. Next time you can have the pink tab. No, no it's all right. <laughs> Two copies? No, that's the next grant. Mm, okay. You just have one spot for that one. Okay. You want that back now? Um, the next is uh, consider signing the West Virginia Justice Reinvestment Treatment Supervision Grant Contract and Resolution, and that's for $121,000. That's also a grant that is through the day report. That that's one that's fairly new. That's the one they restructured just recently, changed it up with instead of having a staff member this is actually to cover a lot of the treatment classes that they provide. Okay, commissioners, uh, requires the president's signature. I don't know if you want to offer a motion. I move that we give permission for the president to sign this uh, West Virginia Justice Reinvestment, Reinvestment Treatment Supervision Grant. Okay, uh, any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, um, next item of business is consider local board appointments. Um, <clears throat> we have the 
Premier Valley Conservation District in the uh, Salt Waste Authority. Okay. Um, How much for your farmland? Yes, uh, Farmland uh, Protection Board. The Farmland Protection Board, the president, uh, Mary Clay, contacted me and uh, they, they have recommended uh, jo Jack O'Connor, O'Connell, excuse me, O'Connell. Uh, Jack is a uh, former employee of the uh, Soil Conservation Service and I actually have a recommendation here from uh, uh, Gary Sawyers, who's chairman of the Green Bar Valley Conservation District. And so uh, the, the president has informed me that they want to recommend Jack O'Connell and Bob Martin as to fill the two vacancies on the Farmland Preservation Board. So I would move that we, we uh, put Jack O'Connell and Bob Martin on the Farmland Protection Board. Is there any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. Motion carries. And uh, the Sorry. Solid Waste Authority uh, to the Greenbar County Commission making recommendations for vacancy to fill the Greenbar County Solid Waste Authority. Uh, the Solid Waste uh, Authority would like to recommend Lucy. It's wrestling. wrestling. Is that wrestling? Yeah, he typed it wrong. <laughs> Roy. Is that R E F S L A N D? Mm -hmm. Roy and I had the same spelling teacher, I think. <laughs> and that's signed. Uh, Must have been years and years. That's apart. to replace Roy Roy Grimes, uh, uh, authority Horst. board member. So uh, yeah, that's to replace the vacancy of Rudy Horst, which has been ill and had to step off. Motion. The, um, Lucy was the uh, recommend. That's the recommendation of the board. Is that correct? That yes. is correct. Then I move that we honor that recommendation. Okay, any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 That's Dr. Lucy Russell. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, Dr. Lucy. She's been working on a recycling program and they're really interested in getting her on board. Okay. Um, public comment. We have another board appointment to consider do we not um, are you talking about the airport authority I am uh, there was some uh, ethical questions raised in regards to a possibility to that appointment and uh, I'd asked Pat Vi to look at those and I'd also asked Kelly to contact the Ethics Commission and see if there was any issues neither of which were able to get back with us before the meeting this evening. So it'd be my recommendation that we leave this uh, vacant another until our next meeting and maybe we can get some answers. Those, those uh, concerns were always, only raised in the last 24 hours. I understand. Uh, this body, um, charged the airport authority to give us a recommendation. Mm -hmm. uh, and that recommendation, they went through the process of, of advertising the position and establishing a short list and making, making uh, interviews. And they came up with a recommendation. And that was done without my influence. I'm on that board, but for obvious reasons, knowing this day would come, I had nothing to do with that process. Uh, anyhow, we asked them to do that. They have fulfilled what we requested them to do, and they have made a recommendation. Do you have that recommendation with you? I do not, but I, I move that we honor that recommendation and appoint Will Laska to the airport authority. Okay, it's been properly moved. Uh, is there any discussion? Um, what was his name? Will Laska. Laska. L A S K E. K A. Isn't it? K well, it said K E on my L -A -S -K -E. sheet. L A S K E. I can check it again. Laska. Any discussion? 
No, the motion has been made. Okay. Um, all in favor of the recommendation? Um, well, before I take a vote, um, I, I, I truly would like, uh, would have liked to wait it until uh, we got opinion back from um, either our attorney, since there was some ethical questions, and I know that doesn't involve the, the gentleman that you're recommending or, or your motion named, but, um, but you've made the motion, and so we will proceed. We are required, the airport authority that is, we're required to, that that uh, vacancy be filled in 60 days, I believe, and we're way past that. Are we not, Debbie? I believe we are, sir. Well, if, if we get in, if we get her done in three months' time, that'll be better than the nine months we spent the last time before we got Debbie on. Amen. Uh, Okay, any more discussion? All in favor of the uh, recommendation of Will Lesko? Lesko. 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 You heard the name. Uh, <laughs> all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed, nay. 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 Motion fails, two to one. Okay. Uh, Public comment? There are none. Okay. Um, I have some announcements. Um, Monday, this past Monday, a week ago, uh, got a surprising call from Al Whitaker informing us that he was taking another job in Charleston and was relinquishing, relinquishing his position as 911 director and OES director. So, um, that, that position is now vacant. Uh, Friday was his last day of work. And um, we, need, we need to advertise that position. This past Friday? This past Friday. He's finishing out with some vacation. He, he has some vacation time. I, I was going to say, I didn't think he would, um, had left. He just, he's going to burn his vacation before yes, he but, leaves. But yeah. Friday was his last day of, of well, being on the job. job. So... Um, and I uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, announce or, or put in the uh, several different locations the uh, vacancy and, and uh, request uh, resumes and then for detailed information you can contact Kelly as far as the job description and so forth. Um, also at the last meeting we mentioned the slum and blight program through Paula Brown's efforts, um, that deadline has been extended, and, and I certainly want the press to pick that up, and if, if someone thought they missed the deadline on the slum and blight, um, they still have time. And remember, that is buildings that were affected by the storm, not necessarily in the flood. So um, we want to make sure that everyone is... Um, or has the opportunity to take advantage of that program. And another announcement, um, uh, on August 30th, that'll be Thursday, from two to four, a networking reception with refreshments at the Green Bar Valley Airport, um, apprenticed in motion, employers, small and large, join us to learn about ways that will help you attract highly qualified applicants reduce absenteeism, reduce turnover, increase production, and reduce cost of training. And that uh, is free from 2 to 4 at the airport Thursday, and there will be refreshments. And they tend to be quite good up there, don't they? I certainly do. Okay. Any announcements that you all have? No, but I believe, do we have a question? Yeah, on Al's job. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, we have kicked around the, the, the job description, and um, what I would like to put in, I'm just speaking for myself, I would like to put in there that preference will be, giving, be given to a resident of Green Bar County. Yeah, 
and, and it, it's a position. It's a position where you're on call, uh, 24/7, 240 days a year, 365 days a year. Excuse me. Uh, flight. Well, the vehicle, the vehicle definitely should stay within the county, and if the person should have the vehicle with them at all times because they can be called out 24-7. So as Commissioner Hanna said, you know, we would prefer that even if the, the person hired is not a current resident, that they would become, at the time of their hire, that they would move to or be a resident of Greenberg County. However, I think it, we should not allow the vehicle to leave the county so if they aren't um, a living in the county then they should not consider taking the vehicle home so I agree with that that was a sticking point but uh, Al's been a good employee and, and he is a Greenberg County re uh, born and raised and educated in Greenberg County he just happened to buy a house over there because that's where his wife was uh, I think working but uh, Anyway, um, it was always a little sore spot there, so, but we agree. It's on our radar. Yeah, it's, it's but, there. But Al was with us through the uh, the flood and the Dreccio both, and, um, of course, he stayed at Max Welton through most of that, and uh, he, uh, he's he been a good employee, and we'll miss him. It's going to be hard to replace. Yeah. Debbie, did you have something? Sure. And we haven't got it yet. We haven't got anything from him. That, that's we what I wanted to request. wait on. But he sent a letter to the Ethics Commission. No. No. He's in the process of writing? No, we're calling. We've called and, and asked for an opinion. We will have to write probably an actual if full required to write require. A letter right. The violation of the Ethics Act and that for it to have any bearing of law needs to be sent back to you in writing if you appoint anyone to a board that may have a conflict. Right. Are you let, requesting let, whether or not they're under the Ethics Commission or I mean, the board is under the Ethics Commission? Or? Uh, let, me give, let me give you the, the history to this point. No one said anything. Steve Snyder sent me some concerns in an email okay. uh, last, okay. last evening, I suppose. I'm trying to remember that. Now. Okay. And I forwarded that to Kelly and asked her to send it up, his concerns, to our prosecutor. And, and he had court this morning. That's correct. A and I Afternoon. assume that he hasn't responded. No, I actually spoke on the phone with him. He asked me to send an email to him after I briefed him. And so he said, there is no way that I can respond in the next two hours. Because this was about 2 o'clock, 2, 2.30 2 when I finally was able to reach him. And then I asked you to call the Ethics right. Commission. And they said that we would have to write something. Put it so, in writing. Yes. Okay. Okay, sure. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. A anybody else? Okay. Any other announcements? School's back in session. Be careful with the big yellow buses. Was there a date for the extension for the Swan and White program? No. It's no, no deadline. Um, I'm sure they'll eventually come. At up. some point they will. Um, but it's, it's open-ended right now. And, and again, I credit that to Paula Brown and her efforts, and, and actually she had uh, uh, people involved from Charleston at Raynell and White Sulphur last week. I think, I think in order to move forward, though, 
the earlier they get that in, the better. I mean, if they're if they're considering it, they need to at least put their stuff in, their information with us, so we can start the paperwork, and then they can pull it later if they decide they don't want it demolished. It's better to get it processed. Okay, chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. The Bank of Monroe has over 100 years of service demonstrating strength and security in local loan decisions. Fathers feel comfortable securing their financial assets with Bank of Monroe. Daughters love suckers. There's an array of account options to suit your personal needs including online banking, ATM and mobile deposits. Young adults endorse the convenience. The Bank of Monroe has convenient locations in Union, Lewisburg and Fairleigh. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.